how do you deal with the low performer yeah so so i mean look i think i think low performers are um low performers for many reasons right like so most of the time most of the time in my experience of having to manage lots of people it's, it's usually because they're kind of in the wrong role they're, they're like uh, they're either unhappy about the work they're doing they're they're unhappy about the way they're being managed they're you know and it's always some root cause right that that deals mm-hmm. that that leads them to that low engagement right and so i think again if you're doing these frequent feedback sessions if you're finding yourself giving the same person it's obvious when somebody's not engaged. It's obvious when these things are not going in the right in the right direction. And so and so, um, you know, what, what you can do is you, you try you try to you try to you try to solve it before it becomes a big thing. But if it's obvious that it's not being solved, then I think you need to t- you need to root cause it and you need to take the person out of that situation. So for me, what's worked? I've been really fortunate in that most of these situations have been resolved by moving somebody to a different team. You know, just just looking at. Most of them, the root cause was the work they, they were doing. They were super unhappy. They felt like they weren't growing. They weren't learning. Whatever it was, and they just they just you know they were just going through the motions basically. And it's like they're good people. They're hardworking, but you know they're just unhappy with what's going on. And for me, I've been very lucky that I had a lot of teams to shuffle people around. And I would go you know talk to the other manager and say, listen, I think so and so is actually pretty good. They've done these things really well. They're struggling with this, but I know you're the kind of manager that's an expert at dealing with that. So maybe. Maybe you can help them, and and it's kind of like a challenge for the manager too now, right? Because now they can they can take that person and, and try to work, and 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 it's a fresh start for, for for the person. So that's always my go-to is is to try to funnel them to a different team. And there's been one or two, like not one or two, but more than one or two situations where basically it ha- it hasn't even worked out with the new team. Then it's very challenging because then. You've given them all this feedback. You've you've moved them to a different team. They're still struggling, and so and then I think the incentives are at play. And it's it's kind of it may sound cruel or may sound whatever, but like if you've been doing all of that, you got to understand that somebody in the company is now hanging on to a valuable headcount, and the team needs help, and work is sliding backwards, and you have somebody on the team that's not pulling their weight. At some point, you have to do something about it. So I think the incentives come, and so that's sort of. If, if I had to say that, that would be like the third thing is like maybe, you know, you're not getting a good bonus this year. You're at risk of not getting a good bonus. If that doesn't motivate you, then, you know, I mean, th- then we might have to do a performance improvement plan. And it's not, again, it may sound wrong, but it's not because because there's other people. Right. You've you got to think about the, the as a leader, you've got to think about the greater good of the of the group. And, and, and there's other people that are having to unfairly, consistently pull weight they shouldn't have to pull. And so I think that's basically when when things. Um, I don't know if that's mm. an answer or fun. 